see, I come from a sector of auto components. And I have been in this sector now for the last 30 years. We started off when the country opened up for new technologies and transport was no longer an ambit of the rich and famous. It was meant to be for commute for everyone. With the government recognizing that, we realized that the auto suppliers or auto component makers were missing. And when a lot of foreign companies, especially the Japanese, whether it was Suzuki or Honda or Yamaha and all these people came in, there was a huge lack of reliable auto component suppliers. So the way we started was print to manufacture, which meant that the customers or the car makers or the motorcycle makers would give us drawings, help us with collaborations, help us with uh, identifying machinery, and then would have us build those components. That's how the industry started. Cut to now, where the technologies are changing more in terms of modules, there are no individual commodities that need to be looked at into the future. We need to look at buying proprietary parts. So now, for example, engine is a whole part. But in the case of EVs, for example, an electric controller, an ECU, a battery, these are all big parts. In fact, something like a battery would consume almost 50% of the cost of the entire vehicle. Uh, so I think it's important for component suppliers to look at their own relevance, whether just playing the commodity of, let's say, I'm a sheet metal part or a supplier or a, a casting part supplier or a plastic part supplier will be sufficient. I don't think so. I think we will need to go into much more innovation, much more R&D, much more in terms of new areas that are all equal around the world. If it's EVs, for example, we need to understand telematics, we need to understand software, we need to understand regulation. And India would be uh, producing the same vehicles that are produced in Germany or in Japan. And these innovations are new. So we are all at the same base. We have an even playing field. And unless and until we focus more on technology, on design elements, which are more ambit and based out of India, we might not lose the race like we did many, many decades ago. Yeah, that's a very good question. I think it's not only a responsibility of a company to upgrade people. This has to flow parallelly with what the need of the hour is in the country. India today has 17% of its GDP come out of manufacturing. If manufacturing is going to play a larger role and the government feels that this level should be at 20 or 25% of our GDP, then we need to build that into the curriculum. A curriculum of schools, a curriculum of colleges. So you need a very, very robust system where the academia is involved, where the government is involved, and where the industry is involved. Unless these, these three stakeholders come together to build what is necessary, and then it's brought down into the curriculum starting from school, college, and so on, we will not be able to just take people in into industry and say, okay, you start today and we'll be able to build you and do what is required. You know, India, for example, today produces 1.6 million engineers every year. But the number of people who go into R&D is abysmal. There is no excitement. So unless and until we can build that excitement, unless India as a country and industry as a whole decide to spend a good percentage of their earnings into R&D for the future, we will never be able to build a platform where learning is a motivating factor for most people in our society. I think ET's initiative for this conference is very timely. Uh, like I said earlier, the the speed of disruption today is unprecedented. And all of us need to focus on our relevances in the areas that we work in. And for ET to bring everyone together uh, of the same sector of people who are stakeholders of the uh, commute or the uh, automotive industry in one room to discuss it, to brainstorm it is definitely huge. Uh, and I think others will follow quickly. 
and 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 the message will be run across thank you